Today we're going to talk about how to make more money with Synchro by utilizing our insanely customizable billing platform to streamline recurring billing of traditionally dynamic elements like employee counts, asset counts, policy counts, etc. Synchro's billing was designed to save you literally hundreds of hours every year in wasted labor due to manually having to calculate any number of items on a recurring basis. Now, while we do offer full support for hourly billing, including per customer labor rates, as well as full support for block hour and all you can eat contracts, this video is going to exclusively focus on the more dynamic elements of our billing platform. So the first thing we do is allow you to bill against all unbilled ticket charges on a recurring basis. So what does that really do and why would you want to do that? Well, for your busier customers where you find yourself billing them multiple invoices each week, you wind up spending a lot of time generating all of those individual invoices, as well as individually applying their payments once those come in. Not to mention, a lot of MSPs don't like to invoice their customers the same day or the day after they've completed work on their behalf. This can create a negative stigma where every time your customer sees you in person, they also see an associated bill immediately after. So what you can do is create a recurring invoice without adding any line items to it and select this checkbox here, add any pending ticket charges. So anytime this recurring invoice runs, it will automatically pick up any unbilled ticket charges and add them to the invoice. If there isn't any ticket charges when this recurring invoice fires, no invoice will be generated. Now the beauty of this is that you can set the frequency of how often this recurring invoice fires. If you want it running bi-weekly on Fridays, you can do that. The first of every month, no problem. Once a quarter, we've got you covered. Best of all, you can define your frequency on each recurring invoice, meaning one customer might be weekly while another might be monthly. Let's scroll down a little bit here and we're going to talk about a few specific types of recurring invoice line items we offer. The first is Customer Contact Counter. You'd use this for customers where you bill on a per employee basis. So if you bill, say, $100 a month per employee and the customer has 10 employees, you're billing $1,000 a month. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. But this can become a nightmare every time a customer adds or removes an employee, causing you to have to go back and manually adjust their recurring invoice. For any of you that have larger customers that experience a lot of turnover, you understand how maddening this can be. Thankfully with Synchro, that's no longer the case. We'll dynamically count your customer's contacts and bill that against your desired rate automatically. As your customer's employee quantity changes, your recurring invoice will automatically reflect the change. Simply set it and forget it. Now I know what you're thinking, this sounds great when I say it, but it's not going to work in practice. For instance, maybe you don't want to delete terminated employees from your Synchro instance. You'd prefer to keep that history on file. Doesn't this invalidate the entire feature? Nope. Not with Synchro at least. What you'd do in that case is create a contact custom field. We already have one here called Employee Status. This is how we maintain a history of all employees while segregating them by status, either active or inactive. In this instance, we want to bill for every active employee. Now when this recurring invoice generates, it will automatically calculate just the contacts with an active status while disregarding all others. Now when an employee is terminated, all you have to do is change their status on their contact record. We'll handle the rest. Okay, so what if you don't bill by employee? What if you bill by policy or package as it's sometimes referred to? Yep, no problem. Simply switch your recurring type to RMM package. This will show a list of your active asset policies. You can see here that we have three policies specific to this purpose, a bronze, silver, and gold package. This will dynamically count how many assets this particular customer has belonging to the selected policy. As you increment or decrement the number of assets belonging to this policy, your recurring invoice will automatically reflect those changes. I know, I know, you're already thinking this isn't going to work for you if you have a customer with varying packages across their fleet of assets except that it actually does. All you need to do is add your second package as a line item, the same as you did the first. We can add all three of our packages here if we wanted to, or five, or ten, or whatever. No matter how many packages any one customer utilizes, we have a way to automate their billing. Now last but not least, we have our asset counter. This doesn't take policies or packages into account at all. It's simply a raw counter. So if I change the asset type here to Synchro device, this is now going to dynamically count every asset your customer has with the Synchro agent installed. All you have to do is enter the price you'd like to charge per asset and you're done. Now Synchro allows you to create custom asset types for tracking and billing purposes. 
So if you bill for other types of devices, you can dynamically invoice for those as well at whatever rate per device you see fit. Yeah, but what if I build differently for servers than I do workstations? What if I build differently for Windows machines versus Macs? What if I only want to bill for assets with less than 8GB of RAM and that have hard drives smaller than 500GB? Okay, that last one is kind of stupid, but I'm not here to judge. I'm here to tell you that we can do it. All of it. And we do that by allowing you to bill against saved asset searches. There are literally thousands of possible combinations for billing this way in a dynamic fashion. Let's take the most obvious one, billing different rates for servers and workstations. So we'll simply add a line item for workstations at one rate, and we'll add a second for servers at a different rate. You could easily do the same for Windows versus Mac machines, or by using just about any other criteria you could possibly come up with. This is billing automation at its finest. We want you spending your time making more money, not getting bogged down with never-ending paperwork and administrative tasks.